Today, we're gonna find out who the best player in the world is through FIFA imperialism. And instead of using the Ballon d'Or to determine who the best is, I've put the top 16 players on a map to battle it out until only one player remains. All right, let's start off with our first wheel spin. Who will the wheel land on to begin things? It's gonna be Messi, okay. And the arrow is gonna point Messi northeast, which means he plays De Bruyne. Interesting matchup here. Messi's a winger while De Bruyne is a center mid. Messi passing it around the back like 10 times. Uh-oh, De Bruyne is in trouble. Messi's got the speed, but wow, he absolutely absolutely airs the shot second half now and messi's cooking good but the shot is saved hold on donnarumma showing off the dribbles and oh my god he just broke de bruyne's ankles no another ankle breaker give this man a map he is lost <laughs> messi has another breakaway he's taking the shot and that's gone in top bins messi receives a pass from donnarumma great through ball he's taking it and wow what a nasty trapella to make it 2-0 things weren't over yet though as de bruyne would get a goal back and have some chances before this game would end but with 15 seconds to go messi would score the game winning blow to eliminate de bruyne we say goodbye to our first player as messi takes over his land let's see who the second contestant will be and it's gonna be modric and wow he'll also be going northeast and another strong striker versus center mid matchup. Modric starting off with some tenacity, but he just misses that shot from way downtown. Oh my gosh, Courtois has a brain fart like in the Champions League, but for some reason, Rashford decides to turn Brazilian and attempts a stupid bicycle kick. But this time in the second half, Rashford wouldn't let his chances go to waste as he gets past Modric to bag the opener. Rashford down the side of the pitch, he takes the shot and that goes in. Wow, what a goal. I thought Modric would have a better chance, but I guess he's like a senior citizen compared to Rashford. And unfortunately, for Modric, he couldn't stop Rashford as he would allow two more goals in with a final score of 4-1. He is eliminated. Another center mid goes down and Rashford goes on to expand his territory. Alright, we've got our third spin and ooh, this is gonna be interesting. We've got another hard hitter with Ronaldo up next. And the arrow is gonna be pointing Ronaldo southeast and by the looks of things, that's gonna be a match with Nkunku. This is a tough matchup for Ronaldo as Nkunku is a great pacey player, so he might have a tough time keeping up with him. Here's Nkunku, he gets past Grandpa and that's gonna be an easy goal for him to start things off one nil like look at the gap between the two of them holy can ronaldo get that goal back playing it with the keeper keeper dribbling and passing cuckoo holy moly he's taking the shot it's almost gone in oh my gosh ronaldo playing it up with the islander keeper again and the smart tiki tackle pays off as he ties it this is the first match we've had goals in the first half and it's looking really competitive whoa whoa whoa, whoa. why is he climbing the fences bro thinks he's spider-man with great power comes great responsibility. Things started to get tense as in the second half, both players would miss their first chances to take the lead. Ronaldo's greatness would shine though as his physicality gets him past Nkunku and he's able to take the lead on a Travella going top bins. The lead wouldn't last long though as the Camel League keeper would unfortunately let the easiest goal in. But with a minute left still in the game, the keeper would redeem himself with the pass of a lifetime to help Ronaldo take the lead. And to end the match, Ronaldo would seal his victory with another goal. With that win, Ronaldo expands the land to the bottom part of the map. Here we have our next wheel spin, and it's gonna land on Sun. And the arrow goes southeast, meaning he'll have to play Lewandowski. Sun gets things started, and oh my goodness, what a play! He made Lewandowski look like a fool. He passed it back, and the keeper with the IQ hits an aerial through ball for a nice goal. And Sun would keep the goals coming as he rushed down the pitch blasting it to extend his lead jesus christ this man just surpassed the speed of light and hit a front flip off the fence son was tired of doing all that celebrating lewandowski would cut his lead in half and before the first half would even end son's lead would be blown forster would for some reason bring up the ball to lewandowski and that gave away son's lead in the most bizarre way possible look at the slow-mo replay this is hilarious all three of them just chasing after the ball and son accidentally kicks it into the net why are you running why are you running? Son would not back down though, as he got himself back into the game in the final seconds of the first half to make it 3-3. Leo was starting the second half with the ball, passing it to his keeper, and Ter Stegen takes the shot. What's up with all these keepers are doing that? Get out right, right here, man. What's the keeper doing here? Ooh, a flare through ball. That's gonna cause trouble. Son down the wing with the ball. He's gonna take the shot. Top right, he's gotten the lead back. Hold on, Son's got a chance here to close out the game, but it's saved. Another chance, but he's blown it. Keeper, wake up, wake up. Wake what up. are you doing? Lewis still with the ball. Oh my goodness, a last second equalizer. We're going to pens. Lewa has the first pen and he easily buries it. Son takes his and it's an easy one as well. Now the keepers, Ter Stegen, great pen. Forster with his. Also a great pen. Teams are trading and Leo has another good shot. It's up to Sun to tie it up. 
the shot, and he's missed. No, what a save and a miraculous comeback to eliminate Sun. After eliminating Sun, Lewa takes up a lot of space in the middle. Our next will spin, let's see who it is, and it's Vinny. He'll be heading down what looks slightly to be southwest to face Lewa. We've got the 1v1 El Clasico, let's see who could take this one. Vinny with the ball here, and Lewa not playing great defense as Vinny is just too shifty. He takes the shot, but it's missed. Lewa lagging behind here. A slick pass from Courtois. Vinny's chances now. And okay, a smooth and slow goal to get the opener 1-0. Vinny actually playing decent defense on Lewa here. Lewa takes a shot though, and oh my goodness, that was a rocket. 1-1. Both players playing decent defense. Vinny though, trying to get his lead back, and he does. It's 2-1 that quick. But before the first half could end, Vinny would get the ball from Ter Stegen, making it 3-1. Not a great look for Lewa, as he's down two with only a minute and 40 left in the match. Courtois doing dances. What is the CPU on? And Lewa scores from that. Courtois must have been out clubbing or something. This dude's drunk. Hey, yo, what the... Oh my goodness, Courtois doing it again. Just pass the ball, man. Courtois passed the damn ball. Lewa takes it. Oh, it bounced off his foot and goes out of bounds. <laughs> After that shaky victory, Vinny's gonna have the largest land right down the middle. Okay, time for the wheel again, and who is it gonna be this time? It's gonna be another Brazilian with Neymar. Fangirl's favorite, and Neymar is gonna head southwest, which ends up having him face off with fellow Brazilian, Vinny. Unfortunately for the Neymar fangirls, Vinny would have a great performance, scoring two goals without an answer from Ney. And with that win, Vinny has a ton of map control, extending himself to the top of the map and looking like a favorite to win this whole thing. Next up, in the wheel would land on Salah. The arrow would lead him straight to Benzema. Will Salah be able to get revenge for Liverpool or will history repeat itself? So far it's been a low action half with 30 seconds left. Still time left for a goal here though and the first shot of the half is a goal 1-0 for Benzema. But entering the second half Salah came in with the pressure and made it 1-1. He's quick to tie it up. Benzema though wants that lead back getting past Salah and oh my gosh these guys need to stop chipping it. Salah with the ball. Bro why do they keep chipping it man? Here Benzema comes down the wing with another chance and there we go. This time he capitalizes and takes a nasty shot. Allison can't get that one, it's 2-1. Everything would fall apart for Sala though, as after that goal, two more Benzema goals came in for a 4-1 final result. And history does repeat itself, as Benzema representing Real Madrid eliminates Sala. Let's get on to the next spin, and this time it's gonna be Rashford. It looks like he'll be attacking Northeast, and he'll be facing Messi, this is gonna be a tough one. We saw what Messi was able to do against KDB, let's see if he can get it done against a striker this time. And there it is, that quick, as I was saying something, it's now 1-0. But Rashford would be able to find an open opening for his shot to make it 1-1. And with his momentum, he'd actually score a pair and that upset was becoming more likely. Lionel Messi though would not back down as he would quickly cut the lead back down to one. And he would not stop there getting a near post goal past De Gea to equalize. With just over a minute left, Messi would once again find himself down one. But a crucial mistake would cost Rashford big time. De Gea with the ball passes it. Oh no! It's headed by Messi! The HGH had been activated. 3-3, what a game. I've never seen Messi get up that high. 10 seconds left. Messi get out the corner you gotta defend De Gea find Rashford he's gonna have the easiest shot of his life he shoots and it's saved by the left foot of Donnarumma oh my goodness we're going to pens Messi with the first pen and it's good of course he's pessy easy goal Rashford takes his and oh my word what a diving stop there from Donnarumma don't let the English people know he missed again the keepers are up and Donnarumma gets it to go pressure is now on De Gea if he misses Rashford is eliminated he steps up and he misses. Messi stays alive. Look at Donnarumma. He's doing emotes out there. Messi came close to losing, but the all-time greats always fight back as he says bye to Rashford. Here we go for our ninth spin. Who is going to be? It's going to be Ronaldo. Where does the arrow point him this time, though? It's going to be Northeast, and that means he's going to be playing Vinny. Even though Vinny has pace on Ronaldo, I think this will be close. Courtois messing around in the back again. We've seen this before, and yep, Ronaldo literally just runs in and taps it in like he's Holland. Like I said though, Vinny will get past Ronaldo a lot and he has a shot here and what the heck was that? After Vinny missed his chance, Ronaldo would extend his lead to 2-0. Courtois must be getting paid by Ronaldo like the keepers in Saudi cause what the hell is that goalkeeping? Before the half though, Vinny would get himself back with a nice goal. Look at the skills Vinny has. And that's a nice finish. We're in the second half now, and Ronaldo looks to expand his lead on this possession. He does, it's 3-1. The problem is that Ronaldo's leads are never truly safe because his keeper kinda sucks. It's now 3-2. Under a minute left, Ronaldo's trying to hold his lead. Vinny getting past the halfway line, he's taking a shot. What? 
That's going in. What a laser pass to the hands of the keeper. It's all tied up. Clock ticking down, and we're going to another penalty shootout. Vinny starting things off here, and he goes left to put it in. Ronaldo now has his chance. Takes his shot, and Courtois gets to it. What a save. Courtois, after making that save, goes right, but it's also saved. Alakiti now to put Team Ronaldo on the board, and he got it down the middle. Now back to Vinny, and he goes left again. No one's saving that one. Ronaldo, can he make his this time? And he does. Same spot. Courtois needs to make this one. He freezes the keeper. Great pen. But Alakiti needs to convert, or they lose, and he does. Okay. Vinny has not missed, and he goes for a Penenka, sending the keeper diving left. Ronaldo goes left as well. This is an intense back and forth. Can the keepers match the pace Courtois takes and makes? A lot of pressure being put on Team Ronaldo, but Alakiti won't miss his pen. Vinny fires left again, and the keeper just can't save his pens. Now up to Ronaldo to keep himself in it. If he misses, he is eliminated. He takes that deep breath. Steps up, shoots, and Courtois saves it. Oh my goodness, Ronaldo is distraught. Courtois is dancing on his grave. What a finish. It's a heartbreaking finish for Ronaldo after an insane battle. Vinny now expands his land. Ronaldo is now eliminated. One of the favorites to win this imperialism video. And Vinny is looking dangerous. Now we've got our 10th wheel spin. Who will it be? It's going to be a member of the Ninja Turtles. Here we go. And the arrow points him northwest to play fellow Frenchman Conte. The Ninja Turtle would make quick work of Conte as he would drop four straight goals on him. He's just him, man. And a lot of these players left are going to have to hope he gets eliminated. But for now, he's the one doing the eliminating, finally getting his chance to expand his land. Let's get on to our next spin, and it's going to be a back-to-back -back for Mbappe. And with Mbappe going back-to-back, -back, this time he's going to be playing Vinny. And if I were Mbappe, I'd be scared right now, because Vinny has been red hot. The pace merchant's got the ball to start things. He's at the halfway line. Vinny can't catch up, and he's going to put that one in the back of the net 1-0. Vinny would have a chance to tie things back up, but things just did not go his way. That Mbappe goal would be the lone goal in this match as Vinny's streak comes to an end through Mbappe's hands. It was a good run by Vinny, but just like the Ninja Turtles come out of the sewers, Mbappe comes out of nowhere to start his run as the best player in the world. Now back to the wheel we go, and is it gonna be Mbappe again? Ooh, it just passed them. It's gonna be Benzema. Benzema will either face Messi or Mbappe here, and it's going southeast, so that means he's gonna hit Messi territory. We're bringing back the Barca versus Madrid rivalry. This is gonna be a close one for sure. And I guess that was wrong. Messi stomped out Benzema in a 4-0 battering these last couple games have just been dominating blowouts there goes his old rival from real madrid and he takes over some more land we're now deep into things as mbappe messi kane and holland are the only ones remaining and somehow kane and holland have both made it into the top four without playing a single game but that's just how it goes sometimes and the wheel once again would refuse to land on either of them but that won't save kane as the arrow goes south meaning he'll finally play okay weird way to start out this matchup why is Luis dribbling into the halfway line and yep, of course, he loses the ball and Mbappe goes up 1-0. Not looking good for England's best man. Kane trying to dribble like bro thinks he's Brazilian. And yep, he loses the ball and Mbappe scores two quick goals. I think this one's over. Harry Kane got absolutely bozoed. This man got six goals dropped on his head. An embarrassing performance. Thank God that disaster class is over. And although Harry Kane was lucky enough to sneak into the final four, his luck runs out as Mbappe sends him home. Man, Mbappe can't catch a break, dude. The wheel lands on him again. Again. And here we have the arrow going south, which means Messi moves on to the final. Hold on, Ederson thinks Mbappe's on his team, but of course this turtle takes a chip on a 1v1. Holland bring out some rare dribbling, takes his shot, but of course, when he isn't tapping in goals, he can't get the ball off the ground. But as you know, all it takes is a couple chances for Mbappe, and here he has it down the wing. Doesn't miss, 1-0. And Mbappe's got first possession of the second half. He's looking to extend the lead here, and he's gonna take that shot. Wow, what a goal. And Ederson would end up making another stupid mistake, costing Holland the game. If I was Holland, I'd tap in my boot to Ederson's head. Just like Harry Kane, luck is not there for the tap-in merchant, and he's eliminated. Messi versus his teammate Mbappe. Will this be a passing the torch moment, or will Messi prove he's still the best? Messi catches Mbappe lacking. He's gonna have a good shot here, and it's in the back of the net. Messi has the lead to begin things in the final. Not a great start for Mbappe, as he's looking like a shell of himself. Unintended. 
he hasn't been able to get anything to go. And that's not going to help as he throws his chance away with a chip shot. I swear, that has happened way too many times in this video. Mbappe is looking like he turned up the pace though, but he still can't get anything past the keeper. Messi's being kept on his toes because he only has a one goal lead. Mbappe creates some space. Can he tie it? No, what is that shot? A guy with no legs and a weak foot would bury that goal any day of the week. We're now down to 30 seconds. He's still looking for something here. But Donnarumma just throws away the ball. It's 2-0. And to add insult to injury, Messi hits Mbappe's signature celebration. Needing a miracle here now for sure. And Donnarumma takes a shot. What? It's gone in. Holy crap. I've never seen that happen. There's still a chance. 10 seconds left. Messi's trying to time waste. He's playing keep away with Mbappe. Running down the clock. It's going to be over. Mbappe's done. And that's it. The clock ticks zero. Messi wins it all. Messi wins imperialism and he's crowned as the best player in the world. If you guys enjoyed this video, you should watch my other video where Ronaldo and Messi compete to find out who is the GOAT. And please make sure to subscribe.